welcome. Welcome to a new program of Outwin and Vivo. Welcome back. It's good to see you again. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad to see you. I'm glad to be here because I enjoy this program. I enjoy teaching English on TV. I enjoy teaching English on Aprende Inglés TV. I enjoy teaching English, period. Period. Period significa periodo de tiempo, pero también punto final en inglés americano. Se dice period. Y los británicos lo dicen también. Eh? I enjoy teaching English, period, uh, because it's a noble profession. Education, helping people get better, even if they don't help me in the, in the process. But no, I enjoy it, and I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're benefiting from this program. I'm glad you're benefiting. You're, you are. Siempre hacemos la contracción que you are, you're. I'm glad you're benefiting. Así de rápido lo decimos. I'm glad you're benefiting. I'm glad you're, glad you're, gl I'm glad you are. Así dice, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're sitting in front of the television set. I'm glad you're benefiting from this program. And I'm glad you're a good student. Okay? And I'm glad you're making an effort. I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're. Así suena. Me alegro que usted esté, o tú estés. Ahora, I'm glad to be here, and I'm going to help you in the next two hours with your English today. And to help me today are two people I think you know, especially one who's on many programs because she's a good friend and a good student. And so I'll introduce her first. I'll introduce the lady sitting on my right. The mysterious lady from the Orient. Blanca, how are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Are you glad? Are you glad? Are you glad to be here? I'm always glad to be here. Are you glad to be a member of this team? Of course I am. All right. And are you glad that today is a day for television? Of course I am. Ask me if I'm glad to be here. Are you glad to be here? Of course I'm glad to be here. Ask me why I'm using the expression glad so much. Why do you using the expression? Expression. No entendido. No entendido. Why do you use the ex the no. expression? Ask me why. No, estoy hablando del presente progresivo. Ask me why I'm using the expression "glad" so much. Why are you using the the, ex the, the expression of "glad" so, so much? Uh, because uh, my students don't usually use it in real life. Se mm -hmm. olvidan de ello en cuanto se les presenta una situación real de comunicación y van a happy. Mm -hmm. Y realmente no se dice mucho. Se dice glad. Mm -hmm. Me alegro. I'm glad. Por eso lo uso 500 veces por mes. Mes tras mes para que se les quede finalmente. Okay? Mm -hmm. So I use glad a lot when I teach because it's a very important expression, muy socorrida, and people simply don't assimilate it. No matter how much they hear it, they don't assimilate it. So you're glad to be here? Yes, I am. Okay, good. Do you know her? Of course I do. Okay, what's her name? Her name is Irene. Irene. How do you say Irene in English? Uh, um, Irene. Irene. <laughs> Irene. Ask her if Irene, ask her, ask Irene if she's happy to be here. Irene, are you happy to be here? Um, yes, I'm yes, glad. I'm glad to be here. Okay, ask her, ask me if I'm glad that Irene is here. Are you glad that Irene is here today? Yes, I, yes, I am. Ask me why. Why are you glad that she's here? Because she makes the perfect mistakes. Okay. All right, for me to teach, to illustrate to the people what to avoid. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, tell Irene to ask me if I have ever been to Morocco. Ask him if he has ever been to Morocco. Have you ever been to Morocco? Yes, I have. Tell her to ask me how many times I have been there. Ask him how many times he has how been there. How many K? Ask him how many times he has been there. He? He, ask him how many times he has been there. Right. How many times have you been there? How many K? How many times? Have uh, mira, para. Uh, no, no pares. No, no pares la programa, por favor. Por favor. Esto va en serio. En las palabras en plural en inglés ponemos una S al final. Y ese, esa S suena siempre. ¿Ok? Y de hecho, me hace hervir la sangre a mí y a todos los profesores de inglés y a cualquier persona que oye una palabra en plural dejada en singular. ¿Ok? Los libros. Las veces que te he dicho. Uh, ¿Cuántas veces? ¿Ok? All right. 
si te dijeras las veces que he soñado con tus labios y con el perfume de tus cabellos. Ok, que no. Por favor. Las palabras en plural en inglés tienen S al final, casi todas. Y la S está por un motivo, para, para, ¿cómo se dice? Transmitir a tu interlocutor de que estás hablando en plural. De dos libros y no de uno. O de varios libros en vez de uno. ¿Ok? Entonces, existe por un motivo. Y en italiano ponen un I. Spaghettum spaghetti. ¿Ok? All right. Now, it was an S. How many times? Is it, I think Falta repeats how many times in casa cien veces. Okay. okay. Now, tell her, tell her to ask me, how many times I've been, y yo siempre lo recalco. Okay. Tell her to ask me how many times I've been to Morocco. Ask him how many times he has been to Morocco. How many times have you been to, to Morocco? Morocco. 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 I've been there three times, okay? Uh, tell Blanca to ask me if I've ever been to Turkey. Ask him. How ask him. Ask him. Que ask him. Que ask him. <laughs> okay, ask him. Ask him uh, how many times... No, tell her to ask me if I have ever been okay. to Turkey. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Um, uh, ask him. Ask him. If, if he has been... To uh, Turkey. To Turkey. Ever. Ever. Y el ever luego se pone bien. If he has ever been to Turkey. Have you ever been to Turkey? Yes, I have. Tell her to ask me how many times I've been there. How many times? Tell her to ask I'm me. Done. Ask him how many times uh, he has been to Turkey. Turkey. Right. How many times have you been to Turkey? I've been there twice. All right. Tell her to ask me if I've ever been to Poland. Ask him if he has ever been to Poland. Poland. Good. Have you ever been to Poland? Uh, yes, I have. Tell her to ask me how many times I've been there. Ask him how many times he has been there. Or he's been there. He's been there. How many times have you been there? I've been there once. Tell her to ask me when I went there. Ask him when he went there. When did you go, when, did you go there? Pasado, por favor. When did? When did you go there? What does she want to know? She wants to know when you went there. I went there last year. Now tell Blanca to ask me who I went with. Uh, ask him. Uh, ask him. Ask him. Uh, who? Who did? No. Tell her to ask me who I went with. Ask him who he went with. Very good. Who did you go with? I went with my wife. Tell Irene to ask me if we went there on holiday. Ask him if they went there on holiday. Did you go there on holiday? Uh, yes and no. Yes and no. Uh, we went there to enjoy some days and to work on some days, okay? Uh, tell Blanca to ask me how many days we were there. Ask him how many days he went there. No, no, we, my wife and I. Ah. Tell her to ask me how many days we were, not we went. Tell her to ask me how many days we were there. Ask him how many days they were there. Good, all right. How many days were you there? Where you, were you? Were you there? Okay, we, we were there for seven days. Uh, tell Irene to ask me if it was cold when we were there. Asking if it was cold when they went there. When they were there. When they were there. Was when they were there. When they were there. When they were there. When they were there. Oh. Ah. Was it cold when you were with her? Yes, it was cold. Yeah. Tell Blanca to ask me if it snowed every day. Ask him if there uh, tell is it... Tell Blanca to ask me if it snowed while while we were there. Ask him if it snow when snowed. Si nevaba o nevó. Uh, snowed. 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 Snowed when while he were there. While they. Where they were there. Uy, es que no lo tienes bien notado, eh? Uh, wh while we were there. The question is if it snowed. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. While we were there. It was cold. It was cold, Irene, while we were there. Now tell Blanca to ask me if it snowed 
during our stay, o bien, if it snowed while we were in Poland. Okay? It, it, no, ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Ask him. La K de ask, manda. Ask him. Uh, manda, es trampolín. Es el trampolín de todo aquí. Uh, ask him. Ask him. Ask him. Good. Tell her to ask me if it snowed while we were there. Was it? Ask him. Ask him. Ask him if it snow, snowed there when while he, he they were there. Oh, all right. Do you understand? See. Si. But you can't uh, <laughs> reproduce it. No. But you need to learn to reproduce these simple sentences. Ask him. Ask es muy sencillo en español. Pregúntale si nevó o nevaba, nevó mientras cuando estaban ahí. Sí, 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 se pregunta claro. igual. Sí, all right. Y, y, y es sencillo, es gramática básica. Ask him if it snowed while they were there. Ask me if it snowed while we were there. Did it snow while you were there? Yes, it did. Tell Irene to ask me what the temperature was most of the time. Ask him what was the most... Tell her to ask me what the temperature was. El verbo va después de sujeto. Okay. Porque no es una pregunta. Tell her to ask me what the temperature was while we were there, or most of the days. Ask him what the temperature was there while they were there. All right, or most of the days. What was the temperature while you were there? Most of the days, the temperature was about 10 degrees below zero. Tell her to ask me what month we were there in. Asking when... Okay, no Latinas, no me, no me oyes, you're, you're blocked. Ask her what month, ah. what month we were there in. Ask him. Ask him what month he... He no, estaba con mi mujer. They were there, in. Good. <laughs> ¿En qué mes estaban? Pregúntale en qué mes estaban. Tell her Do to ask which... me... No, which city in Tereos? Febrero or Marzo? In qual? Cuando delimitas, Irene, la, la elección, entonces entra en la ecuación which. Pero cuando es todo el abanico posible de la elección, es what? What month? Mal. Por ejemplo, ¿cuál es la capital de Francia? What? Porque hay mil, hay yeah. miles de posibles municipios que podrían ser la capital de Francia. What's the capital of France? Y si yo digo, I don't remember, Paris or Lyon? Y luego vuelves a Blanca. Oh, oye, which is the capital of France? Which? Ya está delimitado. Which is the capital of France? Paris or Lyon? Okay, mm -hmm. now. Tell her to ask me what month we were there in. What? Ask. Asking what month they were there in. Okay. Me, me encanta tu, la confianza con que le dices las cosas. What month were you were there in? We were there in February. Okay. Uh, tell Irene to ask me how many big cities we visited. Asking how many big uh, cities they visited in. No, they visited. As they visited. How many big cities did you visit? We visited three big cities. Tell Blanca to ask me what cities we visited. Ask him what cities they visited. Visited? Eso. What three big cities did you visit? Well, big cities, it's relative. Uh, we visited Warsaw, the capital, uh, Krakow, Krakowia, Krakow, and Wrocław, okay, which is the fourth biggest, fifth biggest city, no, fourth biggest city in Poland. The biggest city is, um, the biggest city is Warsaw. The second biggest city is Gdansk the home of Solidarity, Solidarity the famous uh, trade union. The third biggest city is Krakow, and the fourth biggest city is uh, Wrocław, which in German is called Breslau, okay? And we were there. Ask me why we went to those three cities. Why did you go to those three cities? Well, to go to Poland, normally you fly to Warsaw, all right? And then we visited Krakow because it's a famous city and very pretty. And we went to Wrocław because I needed to give some speeches there. I needed to speak. Ask me how many days we stayed in Warsaw. How many days did you stay in Warsaw? 
At the beginning at the end, we stayed in Warsaw three nights. Tell Irene to ask me if I liked Warsaw. Asking if he liked Warsaw. War, como war, war como guerra, saw, como war, be. Saw. Warsaw. Did you like Warsaw? Not too much. I didn't like Warsaw very much. Tell Blanca to ask me why I didn't like Warsaw. Asking why he didn't like Warsaw. 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 Why didn't you like Warsaw? War. Warsaw. Uh, I, I liked Warsaw, but, uh, but Warsaw, unfortunately, was destroyed during the Second World War. It was completely... And the, the beauty of Warsaw was, was destroyed uh, during the Second World War by Germans and Russians, okay? And so only small sections are still there from the old, beautiful city of Warsaw, all right? And tell Irene to ask me how many nights we spent in Krakow. Asking how many nights they spent in Kra Krakow. 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 How many nights did you spend in? Spend. How many times? How many nights? How many nights? <laughs> how many nights did you spend in Krakow? Okay, we spent only one night in Krakow. Uh, ask me if we enjoyed walking around the city. Did you enjoy walking around the city? Yes, we did. Ask me if you walked around this, along the river at night. Did you walk along the river during the nights? What, during the night? No, at night. At night? During the night in Tino, las tres de la madrugada. <laughs> Durante la noche. De noche. At night. At night. Yes, we did. Ask me what the temperature was. What was the temperature? 15 below zero. Wow. All right. <laughs> it was very, very cold. It's freezing. Freezing, of course. Tell Irene to ask me if the river was frozen. Ask him if the river was frozen. Was the river... Uh, was the river frozen? Frozen. Frozen? Yeah, helado. Mm -hmm. Frozen? Uh, no, it wasn't. Tell Blanca to ask me why the river wasn't frozen. Ask him why the river wasn't fr frozen. 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 Why wasn't the river frozen? Uh, because before our arrival, before we went to Krakow, or to Poland, the country had had one month of warm weather mm. in January. And when we went suddenly, it went way, whew, it went down. And it was the first big snow of the winter. It was in late January, and so, uh, but it was very, very cold. Mm. Asked me if we enjoyed the walk anyway. Did you enjoy the walk anyway? Of course, yes, walking along a beautiful river. Beautiful. And ask me how many days I worked in Poland. How many days did you work in Poland? Poland. Two days. Tell Irene to ask me what I had to do. Asking what he had to do. What did you have to do? I had to give two speeches. Tell Blanca to ask me where I gave the speeches. Ask him where he gave, gave the speeches. The speeches. The speeches. Entiendes? this? Sí. All right. Where did you give the speeches? Donde pronuncié los discursos o las presentaciones? At the University of Wrocław, in the southeast of the country. Okay. Mm. Excuse me, the southwest. Not too far from the Czech border. All right. Ask if I enjoyed giving the speeches. Did you enjoy giving the speeches? Uh, yes, I did. Tell her to ask you if I gave the speeches in Polish. Ask him if he gave the speeches in Polish. Did you give the speeches in Polish? No, I didn't. I gave the speeches in English, of course. I don't speak Polish. Uh, but ask Bla tell Blanca to ask me if I was impressed with the English level of the people. Ask him if he was... E? If, if. If he was impressed with the level of English. Mm -hmm. Were you impressed with the level of English? Mejor is the theater with the English level. With English level? With the English level. With the English level? Yes. The Polish students spoke English very well. Very, very well. Much better than here. Okay. Mm. I was very impressed. Uh, it was almost native. Do you understand? Mm. Casi nativo. Mm. All right. Almost native. Maybe you should go to China to give a speech. No, no, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> In English? Maybe. Maybe. It's too far away. Mm. As if I would like to go to China. Would you like to go to China? If I could go 
in a supersonic transport in two hours, yes, okay? Mm -hmm. Or similar to Star Trek, just disintegrate and reintegrate in China. I don't like to travel long distances now mm -hmm. I don't, in, by plane. I wouldn't mind driving. Ask me how long it would take me to drive to China. How long would it take you to drive to China? Well, if I needed to arrive quickly, it would take me about seven days, six or seven days to drive to China. Ask me where I would drive to on the first day. Excuse Ask me? Ask me where I would go on the first day. Where would you go on your first day? On the first day. On the first day. All right, I would drive to um, Marseille, Marseille. Ask me where I would drive on the second day. Where will you go on your second day? On the second day. On the second day? I would drive to Vienna from Marseille. Well, good drive. And ask me where I would drive on the third day. Why would you Where? Where would you drive on the third why? day? Don't get angry, please. <laughs> I get angry because you are, you, it's, I need where, not why. Okay. Ask me where I would drive on the third day. Where would you drive? On the third day. Okay. <laughs> I would drive, let's see, from Vienna, I would drive to um, Charkov. Mm. Ask you where Charkov is. Where is Charkov? It's a city in western Ukraine. Okay. Ask you where I would drive the next, on the fifth day, right? No. Fourth day. Fourth. On the fourth day. Uh, where would you drive on the, on the fourth. Fifth, fourth day? On the fourth day, I would drive to Grozny in Chechnya. Chechnya. Oh, Chechnya. wow. Okay. <laughs> That's the fourth day. Ask me where I would drive on the fifth day. Where would you drive on the fifth, fifth day? I would drive to the capital of Kazakhstan. I don't remember the name. <laughs> <laughs> Ask me where I would drive on the sixth day. Where would you drive on the sixth? Sixth. Sixth day? Sixth day. I would drive to um, uh, the Gobi Desert. You understand? Mm, Ask me where I would drive on the seventh day. Where would you drive on the seventh day? To Peking, to oh. Beijing. No, Not. it would take you much more days. Many more days. Many more days. Okay, well, we'll make a, during the break, we will uh, make a calculation. Seven days. Ask me how long it takes to drive across the United States. How long does it take to drive across? Across. Across the States. It takes five days. Okay, so probably it would take 10 days to drive to China, double, or maybe even more. Maybe much more, m many more days. Yes, ask me how long it takes to walk from Madrid to China. How long does it take you... No, I mean, no. How long does it take to... To walk from Madrid to Tokyo? To, to Tokyo, <laughs> <and> possibly. <laughs> Peking? To Peking, okay. It takes probably one year. One year. Ask me if I would like to try it. Would you like to try it? Yes, I would. Yes? Of course. For example, Irene, listen, I will pay you 10 million euros. You understand? Mm -hmm. If you can walk from Madrid to Peking in one year. Okay. okay. I can try. <laughs> you can try. But if you don't do it in one year, nothing. Okay. Would you try? Yes. You would. Mm -hmm. Would you try, Blanca? No, I wouldn't. You wouldn't. You think, ask her if it's possible to walk from Madrid to China in one year. Do you, it, is it possible? Is it possible to walk from Madrid to, to Peking. Peking in, in one year? I don't know. You don't know? Mm. Okay, good. Ask me how much time we have left. How much time? How much? How much time we do, do we have left? How much time do we have left? We have one minute left, or even less. But we'll take a break in just a second. But, and we will calculate, Blanca, we'll calculate uh, how long it would take to walk and to drive to China. But we need to take a short break. So we'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be right back. And see the volvemos. We will be. Contracción will. We'll be right back. So don't go away. <laughs> 